The 2009 ice storm was a unique animal. It, you know, we, uh, the best way to describe it is its sheer magnitude and scope, because basically we had um, an event that was a pretty wide swath all the way from Oklahoma to the East Coast. And, you know, it affected um, thousands of poles, uh, tens of thousands of lines were down all the way across that area. And so I think what was the biggest challenge about that storm is the demand for resources it placed all across the country. I recall uh, there being somewhere around uh, 53,000 meters that were out of service during the height of the storm. And, and that was, uh, you know, considering we have about 70,000 meters on our system, that's a pretty large percentage. There's no doubt we had a lot of really good systems and protocols in place going into that storm. But I have to be truthful, we learned a lot from the storm as well. And we've added and, and uh, evolved our protocols and systems to to deal with uh, you know, what many of the meteorologists would say was a 50 or 100 year storm event. So you know, in, in our lifetimes, we wouldn't expect another event of that magnitude, but we need to be prepared for that. Smart Grid is basically the modernized uh, power system and it, it utilizes uh, communication and information technology to collect data and act on that data from our uh, generation, distribution, and the consumption of uh, electrical energy. During the ice storm, it was a, a vital asset to our control center. We were able to, uh, to back feed lines that, are, that were out and isolate a lot of our system. And a big part of it was testing all meters on our system and we were able to uh, get a good idea where to send our resources. From the ice storm, there's been many improvements on both our outage management system, SCADA, and a lot of technologies in our industry today. Where, uh, we've got a, a broad view of our system. We're able to uh, widely monitor it. Uh, we're able to dispatch crews and know where those crews are at any given time uh, using the ABL system. And we also have uh, just uh, the ability to uh, test any meter down, down line and, and we never leave anyone off. We take sub-generals and a sub-general is a person that has experience, that has a lot of knowledge of our system. Uh, I can take one sub-general and, and send them to say one substation and say that substation is yours. You're working out of that sub. And to, to help you with that, I'm giving you these 30 or 40 or 60 linemen, contractors that are here on loan to help us. And you're communicating with them. You're talking to them. You're, you're doing all of the energized work with them. All I need to know from you is when you come in, do you need something from me? I don't need to know what you energize today. That's between you and outage package, you know? But you need to make sure that you keep them safe in that area and you're responsible for that substation. You focus on that every day. We change wire out, we, we uh, upgrade conductors, we put new poles in, change transformers. We are just constantly doing things to enhance service because, you know, without the members, you know, I don't have a job. And so I serve them, and uh, that's probably the most rewarding thing about my job is serving the membership. We put a lot of urgency on big outages, and that's what gets in the news and things like that. But when I get a call at 2 o'clock in the morning that one member's off, I still get right up, get my uniform on, and head that way. And that's part of what I love about this job is that people are dependent on me, dependent on us as linemen to get out there and take care of them. And it's, I love that part of the job. And so I really, I think everybody here really tries to care about those individuals. What is it that Ozarks does uh, that's somewhat unique is that we, we really focus dollars where they're going to bring the greatest impact to reliability. We uh, uh, go to great lengths to 
uh, do aerial and ground patrol inspections. We'll fly 140 miles of sub-transmission lines and, and many times we'll identify hopefully minor problems, but sometimes we, you'll find a problem that may be imminent. And many times that's seamless to the membership. They never know what's happened behind the scenes. And that's, that's the way we like it. That's our strategy.